good day class. I welcome you to today's class. Today's topic is feeding. And feeding is one of the management practices in livestock. I told you the last time we met that feeding, sanitation, housing, they are management practices, essential management practices in livestock. So today, I will start with the definition of feeding. What is feeding? Feeding is the act of consuming food or the act of supplying food and nourishment to animals. Is the act of supplying food and nourishment to farm animals. And as you know that feed is essential for the growth of farm animals, just like human beings. Feeding is very essential. And I told you that feeding for you to not just giving your animal any feed, any types of feed, it must be a balanced feed, a balanced feed. So we have different types of feed for both ruminants and non-ruminants animals. Ruminants animals, these are cattle, goats, sheep. And these animals, they feed on forage, silage, and hay. And we have feed for non-ruminants animals. And these animals, they are poultry animals. They are majorly poultry animals, and they feed on concentrates. These poultry animals, they feed on concentrates because they have simple stomach. They have simple stomach or single stomach that can digest concentrates easily. And non-ruminants animals, they are animals, they have complex stomachs. And their complex stomach, uh, complex stomach consists of rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. And all these parts of uh, these parts, they have their different types of function. The rumen is the largest of the four compartments. The rumen, followed by the reticulum, then we have the omasum and the abomasum. So for ruminants animals, the type of feed that is consumed by ruminants animals, roughage. And what is roughage? Roughage is obtained from grasses and legumes. They are obtained from grasses and legumes. And majorly, it is fed to ruminants animals. Then we have the hay. Hay. Hay is prepared from crop residues like corn, sorghum, and granules or millet. This, this type of feed ingredients, they are sun dried as feed for farm animals. So during the, during the dry season, that is when you can prepare your hay. Then the third one, silage. Silage. These are prepared from fairly wilted crop residues. And these residues, they can be used as silage. Then the last one, which is concentrate. I told you earlier on that concentrates, they are mostly consumed by ruminants, uh, by non-ruminants, which is poultry animals. An example of our poultry animals include uh, turkey, we have the dog, we have the, we have, we have the chicken, so, and etc, etc. So concentrates, they are mostly consumed by poultry animals. And these animals, they are raised in intensive system. They are raised in intensive system. So poultry birds that are raised in intensive system, they are, they are usually fed with concentrates. And these concentrates, they can be in different form. They can be in the meal form. They can be in the mash form. And they can be in the pellet form. And when I, when I say pellet, pellet is when they are in semi-solid form, semi-solid crumb. So they are not like the mash type. They are always in semi-solid form. So these are the major types of feed that are used by livestock, which are roughage. We have the roughages, we have the hay, we have the silage and the concentrates. And forage too. Forage, these are majorly grasses. They are consumed by ruminants animals too. An example of this forage, they are elephant grass. We have the guinea grass. We have the giant star grass, etc. So we have different types of grasses that are consumed by ruminants animals. Another major type of management practices that is essential for livestock is sanitation. Sanitation is very important in, in a livestock farm. So make sure that your farm is neat, is always clean. And make sure that the goat pen, the cattle pen is always clean. 
every day, regularly. Make sure it is cleaned every day. It's very essential. Then another sanitation practices that must be done by farmer is that make sure that uh, sick animals and it's also health care practices for farmers. Make sure that sick animals, they are removed from healthy animals. And the reason for this is that so that there won't be transmission of disease. So your sick animals, make sure that they are isolated. When I say isolated, I mean they are separated from the healthy animal so that there won't be infection and there won't be transmission of diseases. And when you notice that you have dead animals on your farm, don't just leave them there. Make sure that he is buried and don't just dispose them anyhow. Make sure that he is buried. Make sure you bury your dead animals. Then another uh, health care practices that must be observed is that make sure that vaccination, you give the animal vaccine regularly. You give them their vaccine, especially young animals, to prevent infection and diseases. So make sure that you have a veterinary doctor that will come to your farm and give your animals vaccine. It is very essential. And for animals that are grazing outside, that they are not under intensive system, make sure that you practice rotational grazing. Rotational grazing. The reason for this is that so that they won't be built up of parasites or infection or disease in your farm animals. I hope you understand this topic. Like I said earlier on, I said there are different types of feed that are majorly consumed by livestock, which include roughages. We have the hay, silage, and the concentrate. Next class, we'll talk more on other management practices that, that is needed in the livestock farm. Thank you. Thank you for listening.